All right, let's see how this works. Now I have my, my lovely Kodak ZI8, which I have with me all the time. And I'm going to take, <laughs> it makes a lovely weapon too. So I'm going to record myself and then we'll put it straight onto YouTube and then we'll edit it on YouTube. So here we go, let's see. All right, here we go. Okay. So I don't really have any idea of what I'm going to talk about on this video. It really is strange to edit this way, but somehow I think it's going to work and look pretty good. Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. What, are you having trouble thinking about something to do? Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. My Mac Mini is under the desk here. All right, we're going to plug in the camera straight into the Mini. Okay, we go to upload. Okay, there's the movie. It was done today, so we're going to select this one. And we'll tell it to open. And as you can see, it's recording. It's going to take about 18 minutes to download. Now, at the beginning, here's the important part. I don't want to make it public because I haven't edited yet, so I'm going to make it unlisted, which will just give it a link, which means if I don't give the link to anybody, nobody's going to be able to watch it. So that means it'll be like a private video on my channel. Now remember, the camera is uploading directly to YouTube. It could be your PC, uh, your, your MacBook, whatever you use, and go straight onto YouTube. And the next step, when it gets through unloading, we're gonna edit. Finished uploading. Now it's gonna take it a few minutes to render before we're able to use it. We'll wait for that. This is a list of my videos, and it's uh, uploaded, and the processing is going on. Should be ready in a few minutes. Okay, the video is up on YouTube, and here it tells you that it's unlisted. So now we go to youtube.com slash editor. And here we are, and here are all of the videos that I've uploaded. And here's what we've just uploaded, and we drag it down into the timeline. Now, if you drag something into this line, it will play one into another automatically if you don't edit it. But what I'm going to do is to load this same video clip several times. So when I go to this clip, mouse over, edit, We'll drag this. There. So, I don't really have any idea of what I'm going to talk about on this video. So we see about six seconds in is, is where you want to be. So you drag this to around six seconds. And there's our clip. All right. Now we're going to drag the same clip down again and edit another section. So we move this up to 11 seconds and we see how long it's going to take. It really is strange to edit this way, but somehow I think it's going to work and look pretty good. So it's about 15 seconds. So we're back to... The... All right. And there's our second clip. Drag the clip down again, pick another part. And one more time. This is all the same clip. It was a 30 second camera take and I've divided it up into clips that are about six or ten seconds apiece. I put them all in order in the timeline and now the video is going to reflect what I've just edited. So I don't really have any idea of what I'm going to talk about on this video. It really is strange to edit this way but somehow I think it's going to work and look pretty good. Mm, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. What are you having trouble thinking about something to do? Yeah. So now I'll put a title in. There we go. Press publish, and off it goes. This is really kind of the, the basics because it only does cuts between the clips. But as you can see, it's pretty effective and it's easy to use. What I'm hoping is that in the future that YouTube will find a way to at least uh, maybe throw in a cross dissolve or a fade between the clips. That'd be kind of nice, just a nice touch. But really, if, if you have no software and you just have a camera, you can still make YouTube videos.